battle. Pelikula yun, no? And, uh, ba? Kala ko hindi nakakuha ng jump ball ang Alaska <laughs> on the very first, ano? But they struggled and they got it. Takuha na! Win yung unang buslo. Ayaw po. Paras for the first rebound. Ernie De Leon, Vic Bartolome, Mr. Garferio, and uh, are the gentlemen with the whistles. The alternate is Bernie De Dios. Outside attempt. Ayaw na Juan Hawkins. Open shot there for Benji Paras, who's being picked up by Sean Chambers on defense. Tignan natin. Saldana is picking up Sean Chambers, as we expected. Richie Tixon, surprise starter for the Shell team. Backdoor cut. Two points. Yan ang kailangan tapayanan ng Shell, eh. Yung pagpasok ni Chambers sa loob. Well, alam mo, si Saldana, kung ako siya, eh, total ang aking papel ay talaga dumipensa kay Chambers. Hindi ko natitignan yung ibang play as much as possible, especially if I'm defending. No? Uh -huh. and a very early miscue here by Terry Saldana. No? He got rattled. Ibang team na first time sa finals after all, may jitters yan, o pareho talagang may jitters yan, Dr. Dre? I think pareho, in that sense. Now, it's really, if you have a good leader on the floor, then he can calm you down. No? Uh, katulad niyan, Chambers and Abarientos can help do that. Almost a good steal here by Hawkins, pero talagang medyo maganda ka gumalaw ito si <laughs> Kenny Redfield. Yung kanyang spin dribble at saka yung tira na yan. Jojo Lim, tabla na po ang ating first quarter. Well, I think this is a series so far at this stage that you can say na walang may home court advantage. Uh -oh. uh, the crowd, I think, is evenly divided between the supporters of the two clubs, no? 50-50, ano? Uh -oh. uh -oh. Sigurado, kung may nakalaban dito ang Hinebra ng isa, kawawa yung isa. Uh -oh. no? be 80%, 20, or 90%, 10. Hindi pumasok yung tira ni Johnny Abariantos. Nasa kamay ni Redfield. Lumampas na po, o do, lumipas na po rather, ang two minutes dito sa ating unang quarter. Ang pasa ni Chambers. Medyo padapa na siya, pahulog na siya. Great shit, Exxon. Well, that confidence is carrying on to this ballgame. Nice jump shot off the glass by Richie Tixon. A discard by the Pure Foods Hot Dogs. And picked up by the Shell team somewhere in this conference, no? At uh, nabisita natin ang locker room ng Shell maagang maaga pa kanina. Kung sabi mo nga yung confidence, pinag-uusapan pa nila yung last game. Pero Dr. J, napag-uusapan din natin ito. Pinag-uusapan nila, how can they be close? How can they keep uh, within the coattails of Alaska? Alam but nila malakas, eh? I think they have to play their natural ball game, no? Hindi ka naman pwedeng uh, to take the other team for granted and say, oh, malakas sila. They've got to prove that to us. Hindi, they're human beings just like we are. We've already seen so many upsets in the world of sports that we should not be scared to see another one if it should come about. No? At saka doon sa apat na talo ng Alaska Milk dito sa conference na ito, dalawa doon, ginawa nitong Shell. Yeah. Mike Tyson na talo. <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Muhammad natalo. Ali at this time na talo. Eh, you know, George Foreman. So we really should not be surprised because that's what's so nice about sports. There are upsets. Yes. <laughs> That's competition, partner. Yes, and that's why we keep coming back because the for result, more. we don't uh, know. Uh, you keep coming back for more, sabi nga nung line na yun. Yes. Slots. Six to two. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Nakikita ko si Atty. Oji Narbasa doon sa kanila. Yes, I did. I did talk to him. He came in with his wife. Sabi ko, partner, long time no see. Oh. Eh, sabi niya, from one to another. Sabi niya, uh, yeah, you know, we were very lucky. Uh, siguro our prayers were answered so because sa championship ka lang pala nagpapakita <laughs> because I remember when he was with uh, when his brother was with Pure Foods no? uh, uh, halos bihira siya makasilip dito sa atin samantala nagbabakbakan sa loob loose ball foul ayon sa ating opisyal si Vic Bartolome is the one who makes this call it's not a very good sign for Alaska early. As you see, Hawkins missed from close range. He has missed three shots already here in this early stage of the ball game, And uh, it's a feeling out again here for yes. a team that uh, has not played for a while. Ayun, muntik pa na wala yung bola. Saiz dos ang ating bilang. Lamang po ang formula shell super unleaded. Penetration. It's a blocking foul. Big problems early for uh, Terry Saldana. Coach Narvasa very animated on the sideline trying to tell the guy that him, probably Escobar, ikaw ang sunod dyan, so you better know where he's going, what he wants to do. He likes to go to the right, so shut him off, let him go to the middle, and we'll try to help you from there. Good, yes. good defense here by Shell. Huh? 
At ang uh, ating natitirang oras, 8 minutes and 11 seconds. Tayo po ay nasa first quarter. Si Kanina, manager Waki Trillo, naglakad na sa water. Ah, ganun, 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 papahiyang na naman doon sa water ko. <laughs> Texog! Yes! Yes! Mr. Ray Williams, the chairman of Filipino Shell. Ituloy pa rin po tayo sa ating unang pagtutuos dito sa finals ng Commissioner's Cup para sa 1996. Narito si Jojo Lastimosa pumihit. Kapos. Very good. Helping out defense there by Shell. They cleared the board so only one shot for Alaska. Mahanapin na nila si Benji Paras. May konting isolation. You see some of the red shirts beginning to float in but alas, then we have Shell. Benji throwing up the hook. So all of a sudden, it's a nine-point lead now for Shell. Seven minutes and 20 seconds into the first quarter left no? as we go through the series we'll have Butch Maniego and Anthony Santay to keep a close watch at the teams even during their timeouts their locker room uh, discussions during the halftime break they will be watching the teams very very closely Future. Pero ang report ni Butch sa atin, eh, sabi niya, sabi ni Chito Narbasa, as long as we control the inside, keep Chambers out of there, mm. we're okay. Yeah, and don't give them offensive rebounds. That was a long rebound, that's why it went back to Johnny Abarientos. Chambers is going to try to attack on the inside, and he has all the four points of the Alaska team. That stopped their silence, no? That was a, a big silence. It was an 11 to nothing run. Mahaba-haba ang katahimikan niyo. 11-4 ang ating bilang. 6-42 na lang po ang remaining time natin. Benji Paras, naka-drill in ng hook shot kanina. Panggaan sila ni Chambers. Pinagtsatsagaan niya si Chambers. Ayaw lang gumabang pa paloob. Nakuha ng Alaska ang bola. Lamang ang shell ng 7. Narito si Johnny. Johnny goes. Johnny will make it! Ang problema dyan sa play na yun, si Benji ay naiwan sa backcourt. Si Terry Saldana sumama sa katamaran ng konti, hindi na bumaba. So it became a 5-1-3, very easy two points for Alaska. At ito yung sinasabi ni Chito Narvasa na kailangan maging isang mahalagang aspeto ng kanilang laro kung mananalo sila sa Alaska, yung hassle. Yep. You gotta stop the ball also. You can see that they're pointing. You got to stop the ball. Somebody's wide open! Eight to nothing run naman sa kabila. Pagkakatao naman ni Mr. Uy Tengsu na matuwa. Dahil ang uh, kanyang kumpunan eh, medyo nag-fall behind kanina. Narito si Richie Tixon. Pasok ang pasa sa loob pero hindi na pangat. Pantada, timeout shell. 12-11 ang ating bilang mga kaibigan. 10 to nothing run no? because it was 11-2 when Cone called that timeout. And Alaska came back and hit them with a 10 to nothing blast. We have a substitution. Shell has not scored on its last six possessions. Jolly Escobar has come in for uh, Terry Saldana, who has not come back on defense. Kaya na atake sila ng puro fast break. Kenny Redfield, ayaw. Paras, lumundag ng pagkataas. Taas hindi lang makuha yung bola. Nasa ilalim si Redfield. Uh, huli ng kapiraso. Pero ayon kay Refri Garferio, merong foul. <laughs> Well, you know, Redfield got away with a lot of, you know, looping shots against Ginebra in their playoff, yeah. going down the middle. I don't think he's going to get the same thing from Alaska, and he saw that already in the first quarter. That's why I think that time what was called by Narbasa, if you saw specifically, he asked Dixon to bring down the ball. Masyadong hinahawakan ni Kenny Redfield ang bola. He has to do a lot of movements against Hawkins. He's just going to get tired and not get off a good shot. The Chief Justice is oh, here. Chief Justice, and Andres Narbasa Senior. Senior, at the si Oji. Oji. Oh. Narbasa na pareho kayong dating commissioner ng PBL. I think Oji is with the BAP nowadays. Ano? As a secretary or a treasurer? I'm not really sure. Vice President. But ano? I did uh, talk to him when he came in. And uh, yun ang sabi nga niya. Well, well, gonna have to support the brother. Yes. At alam mo, kahit nung naglalaro si Chito noon sa Atinea, the family was always there watching. In fact, the Chief Justice would watch both sons. Oh! Oy. Well, he got him on the arm, so Winyo is going to go to the free throw line. Of course, Benji Kadalasan doesn't believe he ever gave up a foul because he'll always challenge downstairs. Medyo, I think it's clean. Then it was Winyo fading away instead of launching towards to Paras. Yan naman ay isang duelo ng dalawang UP Maroons. Si Paras at saka si Winyo. I like that. I like the NBA where they introduce the players and they always give the name of the colleges or universities you study. I think it really shows 
At the same time, you know, you're giving incentive for the universities and colleges to develop their players so that, you know, someday they'll, they'll give the team, they'll give the school a good name. Totoo yan, alam mo. I really enjoy that. You know, ako, minememorize ko rin yan sa mga good players that I see in college because someday you come from for, uh, to the Philippines. Tatanong mo, sino yan? Then, the name may be the same, but you know the college, no? So, oh. pero you know who the player is. Saka kung maganda yung programa na pinaggalingan. Correct. No? Oh. Mga Louisiana, yeah. mga Kentucky. Pumihit si Benji Ayaw. Eh, paano ba naman natin malalaman si Willis Reed eh, galing sa Grambling kundi dahil doon, hindi ba? Ano ba naman We also Grambling? had a player that uh, came from Grambling. No? Yung, alam mo naman kaibigan ko si Aaron James. Oh, no? yun. Yeah, Pasto yeah, in a championship. Johnny. That's a good block by Paras. Yes. Clean. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Alaska to complete their play. We are down to only three minutes and 54 seconds in the first quarter of game number one, the finals. Alaska, laban sa Formula Shell. As you all know, oh. Alaska, oh yes, good inbound. Ay, hindi lang pumasok. Marami na rin ang miss yung ganong tirang Alaska in this first quarter. Huh? Yes, yung mga close range. Yeah, you don't miss those kind of shots. Not in the finals. Samantala, napunta kay Tixon. That one won't work. And the ball, natanganan kaya ng Alaska? Yes. I miss Q on the part of Hawkins because he could have let it go. They would have simply thrown in. Dahil tumira si Tixon doon, nobody touched it. Hinabol lang niya yun and he was able to touch it yes. before it went out. Mga kaibigan, kung nakalata nyo sa TV screens nyo, medyo dumidilim ng konti. May konti, dalawang ilaw na bumabala sa intensity. Magahabol tayo sa adjustment natin dyan mamaya. May loose ball foul tayo. Para speaking up his second personal foul. So loose ball foul, mabigat yan. Shell already has five team fouls. Alaska's only one team foul. Three minutes and 27 seconds. There's the body. Little pushing on the part of both players. Ayan, nagagawa ng bola. Natamaan sa mukha si Jojo Lastimosa. 13-12. Samantala, dalawang referee ang tumawag almost simultaneously. Si Jolly Escobar may sala. Unang foul niya. Subalit ang shell ay nasa penalty na. 3 minutes, 16 to go. Here's just a quick medical report on both Magsanok and Paras. We all know si Magsanok will be out for the remainder of this conference. Uh, the medical jargon for it is medial collateral sprain on the right knee. In other words, masakit yung kanyang kanang uh, tuhod. May therapy, is undergoing therapy. Samantala, si Benji Paras is... Um, experiencing soreness on the left of Dr. Marcel, some left leg niya, so he's playing, been playing hurt as early as the game against Hinebra. And maybe that affected him a lot no, in the second half of play, but he did come up with two very crucial block shots at the end of the ball, at almost the end of the ball game. No? Financio Paras kicks it outside to Richie, whips it back to Benji, back to the midfield. Triple! Yan yata unong puntos ni Kenny Redfield in this ball game, no? Yes, four points na si Redfield, Dr. Jack. He had a free throw split, free throw shot. Tight ball game at 15 all. Two minutes and 51 seconds left. Dito sa first quarter. Dixon continues to match up against Abarientos, who's now posting him up. He's gonna make that turn. Foul si Richie. Nagahanap siya ng referee. <laughs> Tama naman yung tawag niya. Oh, I think naman. he jumped up into the air with a head fake of Johnny and he landed on Johnny coming down. Well, the key there is don't jump because you're gonna have help defense from the big fellow. Alam mo yung Alaska, maraming play siya. They see something, they posted up Johnny all of a sudden. You know, Later on, they won't do that. They go to Elastimosa. They have a lot of options. Samantala, kanina, nagwagi ang Santa Lucia laban sa Ginebra, 111 to 106. But he never did not go out With gently, gently into the night. They put up a great fight. Marion Castello on your screen. Yes, uh, you know, that's why we're already at 8.30. We're not even finished with the first quarter. Besides the introduction of the players, which is mandatory in the finals, I mean, the two teams, Santa Lucia and Hinebra, just played a very, very long game. Very, oh, very tiring yes. game. Exacto. Samantala, paras. Tabla tayo sa 17. This is our third deadlock. Escobar has to use the body. He cannot use the hand check. He cannot push off with the hands. Like he wants to get away from fouling uh, against uh, Sean Chambers, who's yes. posting him up. See, I told you they go to the Mosa on the post on the other end. Kinala ko na rin paglaro itong Alaska. They will shuffle their plays. Una kanina si Johnny. Lipat naman kay Jojo on the other end. 
Parang medyo mataranta ang kalaban. You know, it's not going to one thing all the time. Saka ito, punto siguro sa depensa ng Shell. Against Jojo Lastimosa. Aggressive yung depensa mo kay Jolas eh. Yeah. You know, Jolas is not big no, by uh, basketball player standards, but he's got upper and leg strength. No? So he's gonna push you back as he pulls you up. Andy Lim is so much taller than he is, but he does not have the physical strength of Jojo Lastimosa. Alam mo, katawan ni Jojo Lastimosa parang Mount Rushmore yan. Correct. Maraming lubak-lubak yan kasi laki ng ano. Nang bata ni ano. Sino? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Kaya ko sa sabihin sa ano. Anong tinawag doon? Ayun, Dr. J, offensive foul. First personal foul on Kenny Redfield. Big factor here is the fouls discrepancy, no? 18 fouls already for Shell, not counting offensive fouls, and Alaska's only one team foul. Na hindi ko yata na banggit na si Romel Santos ay pumasok na sa laro. Nalitan niya si Richie Dixon. Yes, Cariaso also came in replacing uh, Pochuino. Smaller lineup, pero faster. Still that very tenacious in defense. No? Para ito si Santos. Inaantabayanan si Johnny Abariantos. Tama yung ginagawa ni Santos there, no? Yung tegmahuli, narito si Hawkins, naksundot ni Santos! Push, push, push! Libre si Redfield, pulls the trigger! Ayaw, rebound pinaglalabanan. Red shirts can't handle it. It's in the hands of Redfield. But it'll go the other way. Well, Redfield doesn't seem to be playing with the intensity that he played against Ginebra the other day. I oh. mean, nandyan, he wants to shoot. But yung eyes niya is not the same as the uh, the ones that he showed against Ginebra. Parang sa kanya, you know, pajaking jogging muna. Kasi it's not a knockout game, eh. Tama yung sabi mo, he had the look, eh. Yeah, it's a completely different look. I was watching on TV the oh, whole game. Oh, really? Let's see it, no? At tama yung sabi ng ating mga katoto, no? Si Ed Pixon at si Kinita Edson. Redfield was doing it all that night, yeah. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 53 left here in the first quarter. Redfield drives. May foul. Yan ang second team foul. Ang last game. Unang foul ni Chambers. Second team foul for Alaska. Alaska enjoying a five-point lead. 51 seconds left. Easy drive there for Sean Chambers. That's what he does best, no? Excellent. New angle for our lipstick camera. camera. Lipstick pala tawag ko. Oops, that's a foul. And Lastimosa giving up that one. Bantayin niyo yung eyebrow camera namin. 22-17 ang ating bila. Lipstick. Natatawa tuloy siguro yung ating... Naalala ko tuloy si Margo and Miguel Hemingway, although one of them just passed away this year. In three-point shot. Wala, kapos na kapos. Your eyes, Kenny. Tariaso! Ayaw! May foul sa likod. Loose ball foul on Kenny Redfield. Uy! Yeah, he pushed down Hawkins. That's a second foul. And also, they are in the penalty. Loose ball foul on Kenny Redfield. Tama ka rin, Dr. J. Ikalawa ni Redfield. Si Victor Pablo ay tinahag ni Chito Narvaza. At malamang baka si Redfield ang palitan niya with 31 seconds to go. Bibigyan pa ng warning probably... Si Redfield. Yeah, delay of the ball game. Delay of game. Hindi naman technical yun or unsportsmanlike. Yung hinawa ka niya bola ay niya ibigay sa referee. A team can afford that. Because the first is just a warning. Of course, the second time you do that, that's a technical. Hawkins takes care of the first free throw. Nakaupo na. Bakit rin yung nakaupo? Kasi ngayon na ismail na. 23-17. Kanina yung simangot, hindi mo mapintahan. Nung 11-2, nandun sa dulo. Sarap biruin niya si Wake. You know, I go a long, long way in high school. At alam nung marami na dati natin kasama rito yan. Good rebounder by Paras off the second miss by Hawkins. Six-point lead. Seven sec six seconds between game clock and shot clock. Illegal defense. And technical foul, yan. Automatic because we're oh, under the 24 seconds of uh, the quarter. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, of course, sometimes pinapagin namin yan, pero alam natin yung mga ating nanonood dyan, eh, very familiar with this kind of rules. We have Peter Naron at the free throw line. 
coming in. Pero tama yung ginagawa mo, Dr. Dre, na inuulit mo. Kasi meron din meron isang... Meron bago. Oo, oh, oh, may isang generation ng uh, basketball viewers na tinatanong. Wait, matanda na ba tayo? Ginawa mo naman tayo generation. Kasi... Kasi... Kasi yung anak ko, tinatanong. Alam ba, nasa TV na pinapanood natin. Tinatanong, ano ba yung rule na yun? So, yun na lang ang naging barometer. Ikaw naman, no? Thank you, thank you. Ayaw itira. Pinasa. Five seconds to go. Alaska. Johnny, let's it fly! Mami, oras pa. Masyado ah. maaga yung tira ni Johnny. Ay. Unaware of the time. Actually. 2.3 seconds. May get off a shot. Kenny did. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Dr. J? <laughs> okay. No matter what generation you come from, we're happy you're here. Alaska is in front 23 to 18. Let's get a quick timeout update from our partner, Butch Maniego. Maraming salamat, sir. Si Coach Sito Narvasa very concerned kasi masyadong marayo ang nararating ng point guard ng Alaska. Si Johnny Navarrientos, pagbaba ng bola, nakakaabot siya ng uh, foul line nila na wala man ng depensa. And he's also concerned about the number of fouls that Shell is giving up. Sabi nila, easy, easy lang kayo sa fouls at uh, malayo pa itong laro. Back to you, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, all of those points are well taken and well accepted. Again, Reds will bring up the ball stranded at the uh, backcourt. Stranded, hindi hindi mo ulan. Makas <laughs> putsman niya ko, abutan na rin ang tuwalya. Oh, nice play. Oh, but good block there by Kevin Ramos. And a completed one because they get possession. 23-18 is the count. 11-38. Uh, We're still in the first few moments of this second quarter. If you just joined us, uh, we had uh, a quick uh, jump by Shell, raising to an 11-2 lead. And suddenly, it uh, was a thing of the past. Umabal ang Alaska, and Alaska went on to be in front. Matapos po ang ating first quarter. Give and go. Keep give and go to the other end. Touch passing, ano? Yes. It just shows the maturity of uh, most of these players of the Alaska team. We have uh, Kevin Ramas going to the free throw line. But I still believe that the reaction defense of Shell in that play was pretty good. I mean, they were still on top of the guy who was taking the shot, no? although they fouled him. No? Yes. Kaysa yun, you just let that guy have a layup uncontested. Kung kayo noon, Dr. J, kung sa best friends na huwag niyong panoorin. Mm. You must always be aware of people underneath the basket, uh, where they are. No? We are 40 seconds into the second quarter. 24-18 ang ating bilang. Kenny Redfield, matapos ang uh, first quarter play, may four points. Si Chambers sa kabilang panig, 12. Si Victor Pablo, sinungkit ng rebound. Nasa kamay ngayon ni Santos, dun dribble between the legs. Muntik masundot. Na kay Benji Paras, ayaw ipilit. Nandun nakaharang si Ramas. Shot nice clock. pick here. Yes. Shot clock nasa 14. Nakakita na madadaanan! Wala. Shot clock at 10. They should know that. Ba! Malaking block yun, pero ayon sa opisyal, ito'y foul. It's a good break there for Pablo. Uh, Ramos was right on top of him. And, you know, Pablo is not strong going to the left here. So, nandun si Ramos. I think it's a pretty good defense. They used to play together. Pero tinanggap na lang ni Ramos yung, yung foul na yun. Tama nga, no? Ngayon na uh, nabanggit. Pagkasama sila sa Chris Pye. Nag-jump uh -huh. yun kami. Ngayon nabanggit mo yun. Sa CBL. No? Totoo yan. Yung, yung gusto ko i-point out, yung sinasabi mo si Pablo, hindi masyadong pumupunta sa bandang kaliwa. Hmm. Talagang pangkanan na, na aspeto doon. How, how do you develop that? You, you have to learn how to shoot well, with both hands? No, well, Ramon Fernandez used to be on a strictly left player. Magagalit siguro sa akin Ramon. <laughs> but uh, Ramon, after winning his first MVP, started going to the right and just people couldn't stop him anymore at the time. Because he's that kind of a player. You learn it and you do it. Sabi nga nila, the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement. Samantala, si Chambers. Laglag ang pasa sa loob. Good luck. Uh, Paras is really playing hard here. Yes. And Kenny has a getaway here. Oh, look at that. Kenny, ball taken away by Johnny Abarientos. Maron sticking to Johnny. Chambers open. Won't try it from there. Narito si Hawkins. Good luck! Six point lead for Alaska. Yun, na yan. You know, forgive me for going back a little bit. Yeah, pero nagsama sama yan. Si Rama, si Hawkins, si Abarientos, at si Pablo. And they really form a formidable amateur team at that time. Yes. Si Atoy o si Bogs ang coach? Atoy first. Atoy Box. muna, no? Libre si Redfield. Ayaw. We gotta get a look at the attempts of Kenny in yes. this ball game and then also the conversions after the attempts. Nakalabit ko na itong ating uh, scorer uh, para masilip yun. Kala ko yung statistician natin. Ah, hindi, 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 hindi na yan. Si... Huwag na. 
Okay, 26-20. Dito tayo sa second quarter. Low scoring ball game. I think it favors both teams, actually. Ay, This is the kind of game uh -huh. that they like. Oh, saan ko ba yun? Pasok kay Redfield, who's currently one of eight from the field. May loose ball foul, pero good rejection again off a layup. Ilan na ang foul ni Sean Chambers? Dalawa na. Pareho na rin sila ni Kenny Redfield. Gandang pasa nito, no? But a good block from behind by Kenny Redfield. Pero natawagan ng foul doon si Chambers, ano? Yeah, not on ready. the shot, ha? Kasi ah. kundi, ako shooting yun. Take ah. two yun. It was on the rebound play afterwards. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Saan man kayo naroon? Sa Butuan, sa Tipolog, saan man? Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Long shot. Ayaw, tumalbog patungo sa ring. Subalit, meron tayo ng foul. 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 Okay. Tatlo na. Meron tayong uh, na-interview kanina. Yes, si Chito Narbasa tungkol sa kahalagahan ni Ronnie Magsanok sa kupunan nito at ang kanyang pagkawala dito sa seryang ito. Of course, there will be times that you, you miss Ronnie. No? But again, you go back. That's one of the reasons why we signed up a third point guard was Richie. And in preparation of something like this, and it happened, You see, but the thing is, we just have to go on. Eh? And the adjustments will be made during the course of the series and during the course of the game. Okay, yan yung uh, pakikipanayam natin kay Chito Narbasa. Bago mag-upisan na ron, naka-score ang Shell 26 to 22. You asked me that question, can they stop Redfield? They always double-team him. They force him to give up the ball. It's gonna be guys like Santos, Naron, Lin, who are gonna have to beat Alaska. See, Naron made that shot. Now a good steal by Santos, and all of a sudden, Shell is back in the ball game. There's also a big baliktad naman a turnaround here. It's now Alaska with 14 fouls. Shell has only won. 8.29 left dito sa second quarter of play. 26-24 nga, sabi mo nga. Dalawa na lang ang lamang ng Alaska. Biggest lead ng Alaska na itatag nung ito ay 22-17. Hawkins! Hawkins! Making basketball so simple. That's another thing that you see a lot in the championship series. Now, it's not going to be easy to score on the inside. You're going to see players that can hit the jump shots from the outside be the deciding factors of a ball game. Okay, now it is Johnny Abariandos. Lobs it to Jeff. To Sean Short. Oh, oh, three on two. Pinipini Sean Chambers. Yun. Redfield. Salaksak Aya, one of nine from the field. Benji. Fighting like a wounded tiger. However, the wounded tiger could get anything there behind the backer to Jeff Curry. Yes! Oh, no, no, no! Now, rito si Santos. Santos nagpapadari. Binigay kay Redfield. Nasa gitna si Redfield. No! Oh, oh. Wala! Haste makes waste. And that's exactly what happened in that play. Narito yung 3 on 2 na sinabi mo nga, Doc, na medyo binibi. Binibi ni Sean Chambers, two-handed. Parang gusto niyang itak na tapos nag-alangan siya, eh, no? Oo. Oh. Bakit pa? Sabi niya, I'll just mean, have a simple day. In. Look at the way they cover him. No? Very quick double team. They go back to your man. Pick and roll play. Ang mautak din si Chambers, hindi pinilit, ano? Yep. Ang tirang yun, wala. Naron tapped it over to Pablo. Quick. Here goes Santos quickly. Back to Santos from Redfield. Santos to Redfield. Ayaw! Ayaw. Six fifty-eight to go. Hawkins is fouled. Pagod na rin yung mga players like Paras and Redfield who have not been replaced running up and down. Hindi na rin nila kaya yung pace na yun eh. Oh. This is where they miss Magsanok. He'll be running in the middle and you've got Paras and Redfield in the wings. Instead of two big men, one in the middle, the other on the wing. No? Yun, yun. Uh, parang uh, follow up dun sa maikling uh, pakikipanayam natin kay Chito Narbasa yung soundbite na nat dinig natin kanina. Hawkins at the free throw line. Yes, with 6.56 remaining. Ang uh, performance ni Hawkins hanggang sa mga sandaling ito. Mas magaling sa jump shot from 18 to 20 feet si Hawkins <laughs> than from underneath the basket and from the free throw line. It's a good substitution. You've got to give Paraceres. He's dead tired at this point. There is Chris Bolado on the screen. We have Jolly Escobar coming back. And so, you know, Shell continues to have a big three-man forward lineup. If you, if you put Redfield there. No? Yes. In the meantime, Hawkins spreading his charities. 
29-24 ang ating opisyal na bilang sa 50 ang remaining time natin. Ni Lobo ang pasa. Nasa ilalim si Redfield. Agad siyang hinarangan. Redfield, nilabas ang bola kay Pablo. Pablo ay sasalaksak. Three seconds on the shot clock. Well, that's his shot. Ang patent niya yan. That's what he does best. He likes to go to the baseline and make that one dribble, then curl around and throw up that looper. So the lead has been cut down to a three with 6.20 left dito sa second quarter. Low scoring. Sir, so, na siguro makaabot ng mga 40 yung isang team, the, uh, both teams here by the end of the half, the way they're going. Unless yes. there's a big spurt. Three on the shot clock, Lastimosa. Yes! Oh, boy. Pero two-point shot lang yun. Two-point shot lang yun. Nakaapak sa linya yun. yun. Kasi parang he was thinking about it eh. Oh! Naron! Another one of those Latinos that was expected to do well in the PBA because of his great finesse in the amateur ranks. No? Si Peter Naron. It looks like Chito Narvaza continues to see the promise in these players like Lim and Naron. And Naron has delivered some killing blows in the past. Good luck. Carriazo is blocked by Naron. Naron can find an open point guard here. Santos quickly over to Redfield. Redfield will slow it down outside to Santos. Santos trying to shop around. Nasa kamay ngayon ni Pablo at mid post. Pablo with a stab. That doesn't work. The follow up. No. Pablo is up. Blow. And Pablo still has it. No. Shell still fighting for it. But Alaska says, I've had enough. What a ba lot of banging inside. No? Kaya nang nasabi kanina sa interview ni Chito Narvasa, the rebounds will be a factor when you play against Alaska. Yep. Hawkins scoots inside. Yes! That's great defense there by Escobar. Hawkins just made a very difficult shot. Hawkins has 10 points in this first half, which is now down to only 4 minutes and 55 seconds. <laughs> It's a great play. Hindi ko makagat, oh. Hindi ko makagat. And they, he gets help defense. And Hawkins just has to shoot over the outstretched arms of Escobar. Redfield, ultra silent. Only four points. And that includes a three-point shot. No? And then the one of two free throws. Santos' attempt from afar won't work. It's in the hands of Redfield. Over now inside. Difficult twister. Does not work. But there's a foul in the interior. Lastimosa picks up number two. Nine Bangarabi, Apo, Manang, Ilocos, Ilocos Sur, Ilocos Norte. Lat na mga kaibigan natin dyan up north. We hope you're enjoying this one. 33-28 in this second quarter. 4.32 remaining. At narito na yung sabi ni Kinito na isang gabi si Zorro. <laughs> si Jun Marasan, ayun, eh, medyo kumatsero, pero dive for the ball si Jun Marasan. And we're off. Hassel, ah, ang bibilis ng mga bata kito. Eh, ito pa isa. <laughs> Jolas, bumped a little. Jolas does not force it. He wants his team to take a good shot on this one. They go to Chambers. Who, by the way, has come back during that timeout. Inalis naman si Kenny Redfield ng shell. Illegal defense ang aabuti ng shell on this end of the floor. Unang pagkakataon para tawagan ng shell ng illegal defense. Samantala ang Alaska natawagan, pero ito into the last 25 seconds. Under 24 seconds of the quarter, so automatic technical foul. Pasensya na kayo nasasabi kong 25 kasi dati 25 tayo eh. Samantala, there's an inside stab. All of a sudden, it's a seven-point lead now for Alaska. Kenny Redfield getting that minute rest. Pablo, the pass goes awry. He's not good passing off a double team. Yan ang problema ni Victor Pablo, no? So, Alaska is challenging him to make the good passes. So, he must realize that it's better to be safe than to take dangerous passes like that. 35-28 ang ating bilang. Alaska yung nakalalamang sa mga sandaling ito. Lamang sila ng pito. 3.24 to go. Giorgio Lastimosa mula sa labas. Ayaw po. Santos with a pretty good lip on that last play. Eh? Oh. He's gonna take this three-point shot. Pinalik ni Benji. He has no choice. Eh? Santos currently with three rebounds. 
Coming Palace, Palace, June Reyes, that spin dribble of his. June, bounce pass to Huinho, wants yes. to make sure. And you can see if Marbasa told you that Redfield was the advantage, without him, it has become a big disadvantage for his team there in this array. At the same time, he has not been scoring well at all. No, he's only, like you say, one out of nine or ten probably from the field with a three-point oh, shot. That's it. it. No question, he's the barometer. Mm. Good evening, po, sa inyong lahat. Dr. J and I are glad that you could join us with this one. Jeffrey Cariaso, napalitan, si Castello ay pumasok. At ang score natin ay 37-28 lamang ang Alaska. Benji Paras going to the uh, free throw line. And we have Kenny Redfield being sent back into the ball game. Replacing, uh, I think it was Naron. Yes, Paras missing that first free throw, so... Slowly, Alaska is building a lead. Bosman, Bosbogong, Chairman, yeah. together with Jun Bernardino, discussing uh, the PBA. Talking shop, probably what could have been. You know, we have about a 50% capacity. Yes. Which certainly would have been full pack if the result last Sunday had been the other way around. Yes, indeed. Baka nagaagawa pa ng ticket. Punita pa ng damit siguro. Baka busy-busy mga telepono. Aha. Pati sa amin. <laughs> Aha. Libre! Santos can never give Jun Reyes that. He's got to pay attention to him. That guy's gonna hurt him. This is the thing. Eh. Alam ko, oh. yun ang advantage na wala ang ano, uh, shell. Without the magsano, lamang na lamang si Abarientos and Reyes as a combine against the two point guards. Totoo, totoo. Samantala. Now, Redfield has to get something going. And nothing is going. Ay, nako, pinaglaroan pa ni Jojo yun. And that's, that's not, that's gonna get Team Cone really, really upset at Jojo. Ayun na nga, no? I, I will never be happy with that. I mean, you have a layup here that that guy cannot stop. And you do a back thing like that, that hurts. Nagpapapatsak si Team Cone doon sa tagliran. You all not only lost the two points, nasa penalty kayo nung naagawan kayo ng foul, you're giving up two free throws. And that hurts, you know. You're giving Santos the opportunity to get warmed up. Remember, Tixon hit those three-point shots in that quarter after he was given a free throw shot off and legal defense technical. Tapos tumira ng three, yung pasok. Then he got another technical free, so he got warmed up, you know. Now you have Tixon and Santos playing at the same time on the floor. Marsan is out, so Redfield will move to the forward lineup. No, tamarin yung ginawa ni Narbasa. You got two shooters, and you put Redfield closer to the basket. It's an eight-point lead by Alaska. Castello with the shot clock winding down to ten. Bala June Reyes, you can't just leave him open. It's a good shot. Just didn't go in. Follow up by June. Yes. Okay, so he's two out of three. I'm really surprised Paras did not challenge that first shot. He should have, you know. You cannot give him that wider look. Tixon. Yes! yes. Triple B! That's one thing I can say about Richie. He will never stop shooting. He can miss four, five, six in a row. But when he sees, gets open, he's going to shoot. Kanya-kanyang trabaho yan eh, no? Atineo, atineo yan eh. Stickson at saka si Jude Reyes. Hindi lang ata nagpag-abot eh. No, no. No, sorry. Castello. Chambers. Great pass! Nagalit si Benji. Tinanggal yung kanyang, ano? Protector. Knee protector. Siguro. Nakakailang sa kanya. Siguro. Saka frustration. Yep. Tixon with a nice drive here. Suicidal. Yes, medyo muntik na siyang sumabit doon. Tuluyan na nga siyang natumba ron. Ang ating oras ay bumababa na sa 40 segundo. Samantala, June Reyes, libre. Oh, sige, huwag niyo akong bantayan. He's still 50%. Pero libre libre oh. to take that shot. And that's his favorite shot from oh. the corner. Redfield. Tixon. Paras, muntik na da pa. May foul. Paras a little bit slower when he goes to the left. But one thing you've got to give him, he's already learned how to go to the left. Yes. Samantana, pagsapit po ng halftime, samahan niyo po ang Big Brothers sa kanilang performance. At pagkatapos po nila, may mga ilang mensahe tayo mula sa ating himpilan. 
At pagkatapos nun, tatalakayin po natin itong first half. Mag-uulat po si Butch Maniego at si Anthony Suntay tungkol sa kanilang mga narinig na pulot sa magkabilang locker room. Yes, Dr. Jack. Redfield again being replaced at this stage because you don't want him giving up a third foul. Shell has three fouls to give, which is exactly opposite of what happened in the first quarter. Eight and two ang nangyari doon for Alaska. Ngayon, eight and two naman. So they've got three fouls to give. And Marasan is supposed to give up those fouls, not give Alaska a chance to shoot. They're going to foul him, I think, uh, before he makes that move. If he starts making the move, they're going to foul him. They're going to Oh, but kaling ng pagkagawa nila. Decoy! What a good ending for Alaska. At somehow nakabawi si Jolas dun sa kanyang correct. boner kanina. Correct, correct. Hindi naman siya inalis ni Dingko. He Yon. was not happy, but he kept him in the ballgame. Yun ang punto ron. Sampo ang abante ng Alaska Mail. Gaya nang nasabi, Big Brothers! And we'll have Coach Maniago, Anthony Santos. Yes, uh, it's much more pronounced on the other end. No? Siguro, so, you know, sinasabi lang ni Coach Nagbasa, hey, we shot 29% from the field in the first half. Ay naman niya siguro pagalitan eh. What are you guys doing out there, no? So, trying to set the tone of uh, being a relaxed coach can also help your players, no, on the floor. Yes. And rebounding, obviously, they out-rebounded because they had 14 uh, offensive rebounds referring to Shell. So, dami nang miss nila. They had to go to the boards a lot, no? Yes, and uh, mahalaga yung puntong ni Reyes ni Anthony kanina about Kenny Redfield at yung concern Nang Alaska, because Redfield are going only one out of ten in the first half, will definitely try even harder on the second, this second half. And that was a ridiculous pass there by Marcos, <laughs> if I can use the word that Marbasa used. No? There's okay. a block on the shot of Abariantos. Redfield trying to be extra aggressive. The shot against the glass. Aya Huino blocks the rebound. Sampo ang lamang ng Alaska. Nasa unang minuto tayo ng ikatlong yugto. Running shot by Chambers, nothing. The battle for the loose ball. Habang tinatawag ang foul na ito, silipin natin ang ilang mahalagang statistics na naganap ng first half. Narito na po. Well, Alaska did not shoot that well, 44%, but their defense limited Shell to only 29%. The only advantage for Shell was they had three uh, triple Bs in that first quarter half. 31 rebounds, 21, 14 offensive for Shell, but only getting 10 points from those of 14. And 12 turnovers by Shell against 5 for Alaska. Siguro ang mahalagang one-on-one uh, -on -one talk ni Chito Narvasa nung uh, halftime ay kay Kenny Redfield. Yeah, ano? I think the first person I talk to Kenny is Kenny Redfield. Uh, if you're not going to play anything, you might as well go home. We're not going to win this ball game. Then probably the second thing is for Paras. No? Uh, you've got to take better shots, get yourself in good position, use your muscle a little bit there. So Redfield is getting aggressive. That's really good. And Redfield, as predicted by both Dr. J and the report of Anthony Santai, now has six points. He averages 26 points, almost 12 rebounds, and seven shots, and seven assists a ball game. Turnovers 3.4, expected for a guy who plays an average of 45 minutes a ball game. Finishes off the three point play, lead is down to seven. A minute and 12 seconds gone by dito sa third quarter. Kenny Redfield's uh, fan uh, na may dalang banner na kasalagay Mr. Triple Double finally nakatayo siya hindi talaga siya masyado nagtanda siya nakaka-forma oh. <laughs> <laughs> so defense there Queen your box from the outside gets it oh, wala ka na rin masasabi nung Paras was right there and Queen not expected to shoot an 18 footer just did <laughs> at si Queen ay meron ng pitong puntos across his name sa ating score sheet Narito si Johnny, nakaantabay ang tatlo, paglipad ni Chambers, merong foul. Picking up his third personal foul. At sa mga sandaling ito, parehong kupunan, meron ng tig-isang foul. There was a coincidence in the first half. Both teams were given 13 free throw shots and both made only 9 for 69%. So even Steven sila on that department. Terry Saldana, ibinabamo na ni Chito Narvasa, binalik niya si Victor Pablo. Well, the reason why he took away Terry Saldana is he did not react on the offensive end. No, meron siyang pinapagawa sa kanya hindi niya ginawa. Now Terry is not a very, you know, I know him, man. You know, medyo matagal misan masaplay yun eh, misan nahuli sa play kanti yun eh. 
So, kaya in inalis muna ni Coach Narbasa. Oops. <laughs> Agresibo ang depensa ng Alaska. But it's almost like a zone there because uh, they're really guarding spots, not players. Pablo from afar knocks it in with a second remaining on the shot clock. Big basket and big substitution for Coach Narbasa because the guy just came off the bench and hit a shot. But buzzer beater almost actually lead is down to nine. Alaska still comfortably ahead at this point. Nueve media ang oras na natitira dito sa ating uh, third quarter. Same thing for Shell guarding a spot. Edward Wino! may contribusyon ng apat na puntos dito sa third quarter. And two big long baskets. No? Hindi malalapit na shot yun. It's on. Paras can shoot that lazy jumper of his. Over now to Benji. He gets to shoot it. It goes. Benji, Those shots are created by the point guard. You pretend, you penetrate, and you set somebody wide open. Exactly what Chambers did for Las Limosa at the end of the second quarter. 52-43, 8 minutes and 50 to play. We are in the third, and the referee's whistle has just halted Talaga the action. And illegal defense. I mean, both teams are almost guarding spots on the floor, rather than guarding players. Parang nakakwadre, ang formation. At unang nabista ng mga opisyal ay yung... Alaska, actually. Na inabutan ng technical foul dahil pinamaan sila under the 25 Kanina, second of no? the first quarter. Under the 24 second of the first quarter. Tapos tinamaan na ili ang warning ang shell on the second quarter. And this one is a technical free throw shot for Alaska. Sampuna naman ang laman ng Alaska Milk. Appearing in their seventh straight finals. Chambers, who really didn't expect to be here this early. Gets the rebound, the loose ball that is. Kamantala and uh, an opportunity for Alaska to recycle their offense. Fall away by Johnny oh. Short. May foul doon uh, against uh, Winyo. Winyo, he went under Redfield and they missed that play. No? Uh, uh, which uh, got the whole Shell team standing up. They're very clear. It was a rebound play. Na ilaliman siya, na push out of the way. He couldn't jump. They missed that. They got the other one on the other end. Kaya nung lahat ng mga nakakurbata sa bangko ng <laughs> Shell ay tumindig. Lahat naman na nanonood dito. Kita naman yun. <laughs> Chambers taking care of the first. And it's 54-43. Ronnie Magsano cannot join his team in this series. Yes. Ang sakit no na. That was an accident caused by his own teammate. Mismo. Yes. Yeah. Halos nagdaganan yung knee niya when they collided. And Redfield... Probably already has atoned for it <laughs> by leading uh, Shell to the finals. Take Sons a temperament for that's a push. Oh, pangilan na si Paras. Apat, apat. Very early foul trouble for the Tower of Power and a bad time because Alaska is on top by 11 points. So again. The foul trouble creeping uh, against uh, Shell in this ball game. Hawkins, the ball drops to the deck. There's a scramble for it. And a jump is declared. And Benji Paras will have to sit down. Dahil nga doon sa apat na fouls na tangan-tangan niya. It could be a blessing in disguise. Paras is not playing that well offensively anyway. And uh, Narbasa, you know... Could probably give him the rest, try to field him in somewhere in this quarter, pasundot sundot, and hope that he lasts the ball game. No? Johnny Abarientos taking it away from the big guys. 7.45 na lang po ang remaining time natin. Of uh, isolation play, Tinovac, pero being contested by Lastimosa. And Pinkon tries to pacify Jolas. Eh, on the other hand, Narbasa is asking him, but hindi mo naman bigyan ng konting warning yun? Oh, oh, technical, ayun, natuloy at lang. That is what Coop did not want. What for? Yeah. Keep your cool. Naman naman tayo eh. Explaining to his uh, captain. Si Tim Cohn, well versed sa rules yan. Ah, yes. Alam ni Tim Cohn yan. Alam mo, not only does he knows the rules, 
he knows how to take advantage of <laughs> yes. so, saan pwede and a miss free throw shot here by Richie Dixon still an 11 point lead being enjoyed by Alaska Shell has really got to do something here in the next few minutes of this quarter They've got uh, to light the fire somewhere. Yeah, masyadong uh, dinumero ang mga kanilang kilos na basang-basa naman ng Alaska, which means they're scouted well. No? So, you've got to get something going. And Dixon, Dixon starts it off. Nag-miss ako ng free throw shot, pero I hit the three, triple B. Dixon with 11 markers, and he has three triples already in this contest. 7.90 na lang ho ang natitira. Yun yung nasa itap. Ituktok ng keyhole. Narito si Jojo Lastimosa. Nasilip niya si Johnny Abariantos. Ang shot clock ay bumababa na sa 7. Pumoposte si Johnny. Pipi hit. Iikot. Walang napuntahan. May foul. Foul Kenny Redfield. Apat na si Redfield. Apat na rin si Paras. Let's take a look at this play. Good help here by Kenny Redfield. Natamaan niya sa kamay. Johnny takes care of the first. It's 55-46. Sabi ko, hindi na sa kamay, sa mukha pa. Again, the good post-up play there by Johnny Abariantos. He has that quickness. And, you know, Tixon cannot read where he's going. Hindi niya malaman sa pupunta what he's going to do. Kung papasa mo yun, titira. Titirahan ako sa ilalim, ja-jump siya, pepe the way, ang daming tira ni Johnny. Sampo ang lamang ng Alaska Mill. Pipihit si Redfield. That's, I thought he was going to count, but the foul was called before the spin. No? Dalawa na ang foul ni Hawkins. Which is really nothing because he has really put the clamps on Kenny Redfield so far in this ballgame. Uh, just to give up only two fouls means you're doing a pretty decent job at it. Siete puntos lang ang kontribusyon ni Redfield so far. But hoping to get so much more. He goes to George Olim. Corner shot. George's attempt won't work. Naron trying to fight for it. George gets it back. Shell yeah. keeping possession. In my loose ball recoveries. Pablo is asking for it, but Redfield has other plans. Finally gives it over to Pablo. Pablo backs up against Suino. There's a foul. And it will be just a sideline inbound. Well, Could have gone either way. Also, nakita mo na kung ready Pablo si Edward Suino. Katawagan lang yung unang hand check. Correct call. 6.33 left dito sa third quarter. Still a 10-point lead. As we see Chris Bolado being cheered on by yes. the Alaska fans. Ba, lalaro na si Chris. Maring Chris. Maring Bolado. Tira sa kanto. Alapo. Rebound ni Pablo. Kung saan narunturong po yun. Binatban. <laughs> okay. Ayaw ang tira ni Redfield. Sampuan lamang ng Alaska. 56-46 ang ating bilang. Nakakakalahati na po tayo ng ating third quarter. Hindi mo rin maalala mo kung Kenny Redfield is obviously dead tired from a game only two nights ago. No? That's a good luck. Natawagan however ng uh, goal pending si Kenny Redfield who really went high up to block that shot. No? So it's now a dozen point lead. Again, a nice post of play here for Sean Chambers. Redfield sags a little bit, gets that block. Natinawagan ng goal pending. Namukang pagbaba yung bola talaga. I think so also. I don't even think it's borderline. I think it was a good call by referee Carferio. Ang pasa ni Tixon na tapet at ito yung may kahinaan ng konte. Last time sa oh yes sir. Ito na yung Alaska jog or not. Paras is on the bench. Magsanot is in civilian clothes. And Redfield is I don't know where. And he's gonna drive hard. He can drive hard if he wants to. Yes. You know? But he's always been delaying his dribble so that Alaska has the opportunity to, to come and oh, double oh. team. I told you. Hindi siya mahinto kung one-on-one. Pero Alaska's not gonna let him do that. You know? Bakit may bibigyan hilig ng tao, no? Of course. And... He was too smart a coach to allow that. Oh, yes! 
Chambers, meron ng 21 points. Medyo tahimik siya no second quarter. Only two points there. So, balit siya ngayon ay may 21 na. Spots on the floor again. Let's see who will take the technical free throw shot. Okay, this is uh, Mr. Eli Santiago, the Vice President for Downstream Wells uh, Shell. Mr. Rain Williams, uh, the Chairman of Filipinas Shell. Uh, supporting their team. No? Yes. Oh, si Eli, kilala natin yan. Alam mo, nakakausap ko lang si Mr. Santiago pa rin na sa'yo. Sir, it's nice to see all of you here. All of the officials of Shell, most of them are here tonight. May kasama namin ni Ed, si Ed Mapa. Masaan? Uh, Yun. Mr. Santiago minsan nakapaglaro din kami niya. Magaling i-score din yan sa, sa golf course yan. Lampaso ko niya. Mahina na nga ako. Nilampaso pa lalo. Pablo! Ayaw po! Good play actually there. Pablo had the shot. Just couldn't make it. 13-point lead here. Lastimosa wide open. But this one won't go. Redfield rebounding a lot now. Marito si Escobar. Naron! Two! What a jump there by Nero. Nice as a maka Carl Lewis, huh? That was about three flights up. Or yung kay uh, Johnson, yung hurdles. Oh, oh. Who won again the World Championship, huh? Yes. And then we'll do another one half on some Malaysian channel. Yata yun. And this is Michael, the other Johnson, the one that won the 110 meter hurdles. Uh, Look at the triple team on one end. Johnny, ayo. At tama yung observation mo kanina, Dr. J. Merong fire na kailan maumpisaan itong shell. Oh, he has a mismatch here. Let's see if he uses it. No, he waits too long. Oops. Oops. Yung mga sinasadya yun. Jojo admits and comforts the fellow Bisaya. Uh, 62-49 po ang ating bilang. Lamang po ang Alaska Merit ng Presa. As we mentioned at the top of this broadcast, Formula Shell back in the finals after uh, four years. Last time they were here, they won a title against San Miguel Beer. Coach then was Reno Salazar. Yep. Medyo matagal na yun eh. Parang nakakalimutan mo na yun sa tagal ng panahon. But it's not that they don't know how to win, no? They had a good start in last conference, the old Filipino, but then they got shackled along the way. It was almost exactly what happened to Santa Lucia in this conference. Yes, and I remember Shell, during the first conference, there six straight losses oh. in the semifinals. <laughs> Coach Tim Cohn was going to Jeffrey Carriasso. Well, Shell is hanging in there. You know, at this point, they're hanging in there dangerously close. 3 minutes and 39 seconds of the third quarter, 11-point lead. You know, you let him hang in there, and suddenly they could get a spurt going. Remember, Paras is resting, no? Oh, he's going to come back with a vengeance. Si Chambers, ang kanyang assault, walang nangyari. Nakuha ni Parin Bulado. 8 seconds na lang sa shot. Like, sabi ni Johnny, bigyan niyo ako ng daan! Ayaw pumasok ang tira niya. A little bit strong on that shot. Penetration. There's a foul. Now pick. Yeah. He thought he was going to shoot with one hand and then he switched off to the other. And the king of comedy is in the venue. The little bit of Bando. Dolphy, a uh, basketball fan. Up to date, Yan. Dolphy, parang hindi rin tumatanda. Still very... Healthy looking. Oh, bibo bibo. Samantala, naman. Mayro siguro secret yan. Oh, siguro mayro. I won't say something to you. Ako hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Chambers. Mayro ng it's easy picking for Alaska inside. Yeah, well they spread it apart. And all of a sudden, you have that twirl by Chambers, and you have a great passer like Johnny to get the ball to him. That's the thing you. Again, isolation play of Naron against, uh, oops, ah, suerte. Yung posul, no, sa kamay ni Bolado. Yung backspin. Yung yung bola. So it's just a nine-point lead, two minutes and 22 seconds. Scoring pick up a little bit in this quarter now for both clubs. 
inside pass. Oh. Johnny Spore, nothing. He's fighting for it. The same thing, may lay up na si Johnny, pumabakpas pa rin. Huh? Redfield zigzagging through the traffic. <laughs> and Alaska calls it time. 64 57 with two minutes and two remaining in the third well a mild rally could turn out to be a major uprising before it becomes a rebellion so <laughs> Tim Cook calls that time out and tries to get his team back in order here at the Kamuna, guys johnny drink brings it inside hawkins Huminto, Ampasa, Good chambers block. just blocked and off the ensuing play oh, the oh, oh, oh. Alam, alam mo, Dr. J, napapansin ko natin ang body language, no? Yung kay Chito Narvasa, ang kanyang concern is fire, eh. Yeah. You got to get the intensity, you know, porket nanalo tayo na siyang araw, that's only the first uh, part of our job, you know? We've just got to keep on pushing. Uh, if we challenge Alaska, you know, the more that we're gonna put pressure on them. Right now, they're playing without pressure. Kaya ito, at this point, eh, they're making their comeback. Paras is on the bench. Like I said, pagbalik nga, eh, medyo manggigigil yan. Eh. It could be the, uh, for yes. the better of the team. Two for two by Kenny Redfield. And the lead has been whittled down to five from a high of 14. 64-59. One minute and 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Penalty situation ng Alaska. Ang Shell, meron pa isa to give. Hawkins with that pirouette. The in Inside pass almost lost. The shot clock down to four. Oh, Bolado! What a dunk there by Bolado. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Pretty young Fred Flintstone. Yes. Yeah, Wilma. Tina si Wilma. Sasabi ni Chris. Wala akong kilalang Wilma. Oh, an air ball from 15 feet by Naron. But hinawakan ni Bolado before it went out. <laughs> Big break there for Shell. Yes, but we'll take first a uh, look at the dunk. What a dunk there by Bolado at that stage. Huh? And this was the following play. Ito, 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 ito. Uh, di pa naga outside. Ayan, hinuwaka ni Bolado and he goes outside. Pablo leaping for it. Kicks it outside. Here's Redfield. Shot clock at 20. 50 seconds to go in the quarter. Off the turn. May foul. Hawkins na naman. Hawkins. And they are in the penalty. Pangwalo na ng Alaska yun in this quarter while Shell has four. Now it's Shell trying to knock at the door. Well, Redfield has improved his offensive game in this quarter. At the same time, he's getting a lot of benefits from the free throw line also in this quarter. Kaya yes. na medyo nakabalik na yung team niya. If he's silent, there will also be silent. 11 of his 15 points have happened in this third quarter, which is now down to only 47 seconds. Now he's a 26-27-point 26, 26, average type of player. Ayun naman si Bulado. Pero hindi na si Escobar. Chinalin siya. That shot doesn't work and Shell picks it up. In the hands of Peter Naron. Naron will slow it down and wait for the rest of the crew. Correct. They have no need to rush. There are two more plays coming up for us here, Jim. Oh, Redfield. <laughs> Three-point game. Buhay na buhay na naman ang fans ng Shell here. Yes. Alaska a little bit silent, but they have the last play here. They could have the last say in this quarter. They have Shell players talking about the foul that they oh. got. Kanina, hindi nila nagamit sa second quarter yun. Naka three-point shot pa sila Stimosa. But Redfield is not gonna give it up. Volado, no. In the hands of Escobar and Shell. At the fire, going towards the end of this quarter, we'll have one more to go. Ang unang pagtutuos ay nasa kanyang fourth quarter na ngayong gabi. Well, Jun Rey is still in the ball game, uh, giving Johnny Abarientos a good respite. Pero medyo nawala na yung malaking lamang ng Alaska on that great rally by Shell. Ito ay uh, pinakamalaki nung ito ay 14. Nung ang score noon ay 60, 46. Uh, is Escobar picks up his second personal foul. Ano ang tamang ginawa ng uh, Shell doon? Uh, it's Redfield. He started to pick yeah, up his score. He started driving to the basket. No? And uh, you know. He's forcing, siyempre mapapagod rin si Hawkins. Hawkins has been guarding him the whole first half. 
in the third quarter. Then Hawkins began to pick up the fouls. Siyempre, if you pick up the fouls, you're gonna lay off from picking up fifth foul. No? So, medyo nakaka-drive si Redfield. The illegal defense has been called on both ends. Eh, those things clear up the lane a little bit for you. No? Chambers continues to do well from the area where he was such a poor <laughs> shooter <laughs> before. But uh, coming back to the Philippines has helped him. Back to a five-point lead. Good start for Alaska at this quarter. Si Cariaso na ang bumabantay. I expected that. Yeah. Okay. Well, and besides, Hawkins is on the uh, bench. No? Santos' attempt won't work. Three-point shot. Ooh, taas ng lipad. Uh, Naron was also up there, but uh, Chambers just willed that he wanted oh. to get the ball. Mas matas lang yung altitude. Yeah. <laughs> Important. <laughs> <laughs> Jun Reyes. Ramas. Tariaso has to let it fly, but it won't work. When you're tentative, you won't make the putt. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Double teaming right away. Nakita mo. Narito si Victor Pablo. Chambers climbing over him. The shot trickles in. That's a big basket there because he has that. He doesn't have a great advantage of uh, uh, Sean Chambers at low post, but he made a difficult shot. So we have a very tight ball game here in the fourth quarter of the first game of the championship. Like threaten na magblow out ang Alaska kanina, ano ha? Oh. Pero nakarimate ang Cariaso. Si Cariaso nakawala. Si Gary B at ang uh, kumari kong uh, Angeli. Nanunod. May kung maaari ka palang Angeli, may ay naanak ka pang Angeli. Ah, Oo, oh, eh. Sa'yo yun, eh. <laughs> Samantala. Pablo, hook shot! Ayaw! Brave out pinaglalamanan. Well, the hustle on the part of guys like Naron, Escobar, and Pablo, giving a shell opportunity. You see, Redfield, parang wala siyang offensive rebound because he's always about 21, 22 feet away from the basket. No? Directing operations there. Field Marshal Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Natural sa kanya yun eh. Pablo. Trying to go inside. Yes! Victor at work! Big shot by Pablo. Tenacity being displayed by Pablo like uh, the other game, no? Sa fourth quarter, siya nag-umpisa ng umusok, eh, no? Yes, indeed. And he has 10 in this one. Giorgio Lastimosa from afar won't work. Now, Shell beginning to assert itself off the rebounding nice pass. Nice pass! Victor Pablo had to twist. He had to twist. Nailang siya to sa defense, eh? Yep. And he, got, and he got the ball too deep underneath the basket. Wow, was a great pass by Naron. He just, Pablo just couldn't finish it off. Ang gandang pasa nito eh. Na ilang siya, he had to go to the other side. Pero no excuse, you should make that. Dumabas lang talaga. And Paras about to come in. You remember, he's well rested. It could be for the better or for worse. <laughs> Penetration produces nothing. Escobar picks it up. Here comes Formula Gel. Zoom, zoom, zooming away. And they decide to step on the brakes. <laughs> Isolation play okay. and illegal defense. But malaking bagay yan. You take a free throw shot, you have possession, you can tie this ball game on this offensive thrust. In the meantime, Anthony Santay, what you got there from the Alaska side? Well, Seth, contrary to what I expected, I expected to go into the huddle with Coach Tim Cohen and he would be lambasting his players. But then he was very composed. Sinabi lang niya sa mga players niya, guys, stay focused. We have to continue to control the rebounds because they're out rebounding us once again. That's all. Let's go back to you, Sev. Thank you very much, Anthony. At uh, yun ang tema ng parehong kupunan dito sa inkwentrong ito, yung focus, ano? Mm. Possibility of the equalizer. By the way, Paras is back in the ball game. Bipin Pablo Eres. Santos, labas kay Benji. Benji, side-stepping. Pablo Eres, come on! <laughs> Alaska is really getting clobbered off the boards, no? With uh, Hawkins sitting down. No Pochuinho, no Bolado. They're getting clobbered off the boards. Tight ball game at 70 all. May silbato. On the other end, illegal defense naman ang aabuti ng shell. Technical foul rate. Medyo dismayado ang shell doon sa dahil lang naka-arangkada uh, sila eh. Saka naipit na si Jojo, no? But he was ready to take the shot. But the call had to be made because it was there. Referee De Leon did the right thing, no? Ball for Jeffrey Cariaso. 
Lamang na naman ng Alaska, 71-70. Well, Hawkins back in there. Check Redfield, have a bigger player, a guy who can play offense. Ba? Napapasayo si Chito na basa. Uh, ballroom dancing. <laughs> Samantala, narito si Chambers. Binalabag ng depensa. Oh, he's looking more and more dignified, huh? Si Alex Araneta. Yes. By Yapi Lung. Santos, three-point shot. Wala. Pero yan, you see what Hawkins can do. Gets control of the defensive boards right on top of that shot. That would have been a big one. Ashiel with the wall of a sudden take a two-point lead. Oh, Offensive foul Banged in with the shoulder Waki goes again to his favorite water spot Ayan na naman si Waki Lumalakan na naman sa dulo Waki gets a good screen From his teammate Tastimosa But banks in there against Peter Norona Santos is now being replaced by Richie Tixon. Okay. Ayun, ayun. Dr. J. Mm. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> One point, Alaska lead with uh, that much time, 740. Redfield! Yes! Two-point shot. Two-point shot. Pick and roll play between him and Paras. Wide screen there. Shell takes the lead. Kapag may tiyaga, may nilaga. You bet you. Si Johnny nakaupo pa. He's about to come back in. Jolas. Jun Reyes. Yes! Bago siya magpaalam, sabi ni Jun Reyes, ito muna. You know, he's taking that shot, full confidence, the right jump. Walang, walang tentativeness. Uh, the only way to do it. Pag miss man ako eh, I wanted it. Three-point shot by Redfield. Hindi pumasok. At na-control ng Alaska ang interior doon sa eksena ngayon. Lamang ng isa ang Alaska, 73-72. Marito si Chambers, nakakita ng madadaanan. Pasok, may foul pass! Nagdiriwang! May mga pagbabago, Dr. J. Marami. Pablo for Naron. Winyas back in. Barrientos, gaya na nabanggit mo, pasok na for June Reyes. Sa guli, mga kabalen, mamaya, matapos po ng uh, ating basketball, MBTV, on the road with After Image to Angeles, Pampanga. Mabisita tayo ron. Well, you're talking about the changes because it is winning time at this point. Uh, you've got to field in your best players for the long ride home. Yes. Four-point lead for Alaska all of a sudden. Six minutes and 50 seconds left in this fourth and final quarter. Imports take on each other. Georgia tried to join the party. The shot won't work. Alaska has picked up their the rebounds in the last four it's, it's sequences. Well, because you've got bigger players now in there who concentrate on boxing out. Chambers, his pass is blocked. Dixon will bring it across. Redfield. Dipsino! Galing niya sa ganong klasik. I mean... Eh, mami, special in the house. Eh. <laughs> Galing niya sa ganun tira. It's a difficult shot. You know? <laughs> Hindi nakilalagay ng kalamansi. Okay. <laughs> Samantala, Johnny! Ayaw! Redfield. 5 minutes, 53 seconds remaining. Benji Paras! Benji Paras! That rest really did it good in the third quarter. I mean, he's going to be ready for this grind. No? As long as he doesn't get his fifth foul, he's going to be ready for this grind. We're tied at 76. Ilang tabla na tayo? Lima na. 22nd timeout yata hinihingi nito or full because we have four timeouts left for the teams in the finals, no? Okay, so... Ano itong tira nito? Anong galing nito? Yan. Dipsy do. They got a full timeout for Alaska. Okay. Naku, yan pag full timeout, ang dami-dami sumisenyas dito. Sige, timeout. Okay, tabla tayo 76. Nasa kamay pa rin ng Alaska ang basketball. Narito si Lastimosa, 14 on their shot clock. Winyo, hindi makapull ng trigger. Redfield, binasa yung pasa. May fall na ron. 
almost a breakaway foul there pero hindi naman advantage ang Shell good foul given up by Lastimosa pero more personal fouls na rin si Jojo only the first team foul for Alaska Shell has three basang-basa yung pasa ni Winyo ni uh, Kenny Redfield and way ahead of the pack Jojo with a lunging foul there couldn't hurt Kenny but he lost the two points yes para ito si Victor Pablo muntik na siyang mag-travel doon ha Benji Paras say by Kenny Paras he's gonna come in with a vengeance here and all of a sudden Shell has a two point lead in this first ball game of the finals with tons of time remaining 4 and 44 Lastimosa sumilip sa loob walang libre narito ngayon si Johnny quick release ayaw riba na kuha ni Ramas Jola set na set yes, yes. Triple B Happy birthday Coach Tito Duque yes, yes indeed Yes indeed The man in white And of course to the Triple B Congratulations on your anniversary I know only A few people who know how to wear white And Tito Duque is the best Benji again is going to be open Nice dish up But Johnny anticipates that Hooks it back Four seconds on the shot clock Plenty of time yan, eh? Plenty of time <laughs> What a battle here. Yes, indeed. Duelo. Duelo talaga. Pagtutuos. Kaya natutuwa talaga yung mga nagpunta rito no? to watch this ball game. Huh? Yes, indeed. And I'm sure lahat ng mga nanunood sa mga sandaling ito. Action. Umati ka po. Narito si Johnny. Yes! Well, kapo pa hindi nakakasit si Johnny. So sabi ni Johnny, no? let me get, get into the action here. Abariatos, 8 points. Narito si Redfield. Kayot Marino siya dito sa second half. That's right. That's the only way. Chambers trying to stay close. Benji. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Iba yung hindi pagod eh. Na meron naman di kalibre yung player katulad ni Paras. No? What a game. And his good friend, Magsanok, cheering him and the team on. Near steal by Redfield. Winyo can't get it to fall. There's Redfield two steps ahead. But Lastimosa slightly on top. Redfield decides to pull the trigger. He was hoping for the dramatic. And they let's try something simple this yeah, time. Yeah, alam mo mautak si Redfield. He sees Pablo coming on the weak side. Eh. Jumping in. Alam niya kung mag-miss ako ng malali, eh, na mababaw, makukuha ko ni Pablo yung offensive rebound. Dahil lahat yes. nakatingin sa akin. Eh. There's Paras. He will, he's checking the shot clock. Down to six. Turns. Twists. Will not get it. Pablo, Pablo. will scamper for it. Look at those uh, guys fighting for the rebound. The underdogs of this series. And the energy level they have right now. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Humingi na ng timeout na shell. They have a tons of timeout. 20 lang ba hindi? They have tons of timeout. We've got uh, 20 being taken here. Shell is in front, 82 to 81. Team is on top by one. They have possession. 10 seconds on the shot clock, however. Both teams have three timeouts to call. Bumping foul called on Sean Chambers. So they'll have a full 24-second shot clock. As legal defense. defense pala ang inabot ni Bong Hawkins. Eh, mas mabigat yun. Well, of course, Shell is going to use some clock, but they'll also try to get their offense going. Hindi naman sila hihinto. And there's Paras! Who's Paras in this quarter? Last two minutes, at it's in Tanduay Ram. Five years, Junior Lapad. Tanduay, the number one Ram. All energy by Shell. Yeah. You know, Paras was conserved properly, and he came in at the right time. What a oh, basket! Yes. But there was a foul before that basket. Lima na si Kenny Redfield. Mabigat yan because there's still a lot of time in this ball game. One minute and 46. Let's make that clear. This is not That shot was not counted. Yeah. That's the 14th foul of Shell. Alaska's one. Pero lima na ang personal foul ni Kenny Redfield. Offensive rebounds. A ton for oh, Shell. Oh, yes. Yun yung advantage. Thank you very much for that stat. Telling us how clear that is. Johnny picks it up. Jolas can't get it to fall in. Pero, ni Johnny. Yeah, long shots produce long rebounds. Now, as shown in that play. Lamang ng apat ng formula shell. Illegal defense. Illegal defense. Free throw shot. Possession. We have Lastimosa doing the honors there for Alaska. It's going to be a, a 
down the wire ball game. <laughs> yes, indeed. Dito muna si Jojo for the free throw shot. Yan ang tinatawag namin sa pating dead center. We have Jun Marsan, a better defensive player, coming in for the defensive purpose at taking out Peter Naron. He's picking up Johnny Abarientos. Shell still has a foul to give. Yes. Walang one grip sa kaliwa, walang one grip sa kanan. Dead, dead center. center. Exacto. <laughs> Hawkins, Hawkins going to be wide open. Better rebound, Redfield. Uh, this game has been so exciting. Our boss man, Mr. Velas, is still right there. Really yes. enjoying this match. Seven rebounds by Redfield. And Shell looking for that upset, that first step. Right here. Redfield, double team, and it. They take it away. Excellent double team. Excellent. Yeah. Hawkins coming from the blind side. Another thriller. May Shape it up here. May timeout pa Alaska, pero madami pa, pero hindi nila tinabak. Inakaw ni Redfield, tinabak na foul, and he's out. A sex personal foul. Kenny Redfield, six rounds. Take a look at this play. Lastimosa doesn't see it on the blind side. Redfield comes, slaps that ball away. Uh, Graham uh, and Ruiz, our cameraman up there picking that up so clearly. So, Shell will go the full route without their import. That's right. And let's see what they can do. And they are now in the penalty. Good That's block, a block. Against Carriazo. That's great defense by Pablo and Benji Paras. Carriazo came in to replace Winio for offense. 31.7 seconds, 17 seconds on the shot clock for Alaska. Double whammy. Mm-mm. May dig rin ako doon sa... Pero kailangan, they come up with a steal. Marsan, Benji Paras. And they will use the clock. Alaska, too far away from the penalty at this point. That's only their second lead foul. Listen to this crowd. Sabi ko nga sa'yo, talagang hati ito eh. If there was anything, Shell... 50%, Alaska 50%. Too many fouls to give up by Alaska before they get into the penalty. They've got to go for the steal, however. No? Balik ulit si Tixon. Para kay Marsan. Si Jojo Lim, pinalitan ni Peter Naron. Redfield is already on the bench with six personal fouls. Gone from this ball game forever. And a 20-second timeout game has... Akala ko hindi na 20-second timeout si Narbasa, nag-motion na siya, di ba? Oo. We want some dribblers, some ball handers, no? And expect the fouls, obviously. Still not safe. Kaya na si Santos, eh. We also want some good free throw shooters because kaya talaga pa papuntahin ng Alaska sa penalty yan. Pero you want some good free throw shooters there, no? problem on guys like Hawkins and uh, Chambers. Jojo, they're in foul trouble. Yes. Pablo looking and for Santos. Eh? Santos. Mm -hmm. Clipped. Hawkins sacrificing that foul. That will be it for him. Still a lot of time. 19.7. Saka, I really, well, ang ganda ng cover ng Alaska, the only, the only pass that they give is at the end line where Santos is not moving. Alam mo, matanggal pa yan eh. Actually, Santos really should try to get away from the guy trying to give up the foul. Para mag huwag niyang antayin yung foul oh. na tumikit sa kanya, no? Ito na naman si, and there's, they have a lot of time out. That's our score. Only 19.7 seconds remaining. And Shell in penalty, Alaska fall away. That's our reset. Yes, uh, plenty of timeouts for both squads. But Alaska still has one to give before they get in the penalty. In time na yung partner. Plenty of time. With the timeouts, Alaska can always stop the clock. You know, they give up one more foul, they send you to the free throw line, they call a timeout, they throw in at half court. That's a lot of time. This ball game is still far from over. Santos, Santos, again, is not moving away. He's not using 2-3 seconds. You know, that Barrientos, you'll never catch him. He'll be dribbling all over the place. You know, they were able to give up Bale four fouls in a space of 11 seconds. 
Now the testing time, the free throw shot, that's what you call testing time. Well, Nag-anticipate na si Narbasa with sending in big men. But if he makes both free throws, Cohn will surely call a timeout. So this is testing time. By not using some clock, he's putting a lot of pressure on himself with free throw shots. Nakaka-intriguing chess game na nangyayari at this point. Yeah. Eh, katulad noon, kasi magsanok yun, you're not gonna catch him. He's gonna keep on moving. Bago you, before you foul him, you'll be, he'll be using 2-3 seconds oh, of okay. every foul. Ang pang-consumo doon yung dribble eh. Yeah, the dribble. They have to catch you. No? Hindi mo dapat isipin na mawawala sa'yo ang bola. Now he misses both free throws, but he gets the foul. And they get the clock. What a big rebound there. Pablo tries to dribble it away. Pablo. See, that's what Pablo is, Pablo is doing, the correct thing. And time is down to only 5.5 seconds. And Shell fans enjoying the moment. Mr. Santiago, their vice president, and Mr. William Williams. Well, if they complete the comeback, it's been a big comeback because they were given up for loss there, you know? Yes, as much as being done by 14 points in the third quarter. Yes. But it seems to be a season for rallies. <laughs> being down by 17, <laughs> winning. Yes. Being down by 18, winning. Paras misses the free throw, so it's still far from over. Very far from over. Crucial free throw shots being missed in the end game by Shell. Santos missed both. Shell was lucky to get the rebound. Pero may timeout pa ang Alaska. They have two and there's 5.5 seconds. That's a lot of time. Benji misses both. Again, Pablo challenging. They scramble. Oh, yes. It's in the house. Oh, Marcel. And Shell takes out a big win and gains the advantage in the series, at least for the time being. 85-82. A big victory here for Shell. Coming off a very, very difficult ball game against Ginebra and going against the toughest team in the league. Now, wala ang kanilang import. They missed yeah. four crucial free throws at Dulo. Alaska could not get any rebounds in those sequences. Concentration. Concentration and determination. Samantala, mga kaibigan, sa ilang saglit, ang ating kaibigan uh, Butch Maniego ay makikipag-usap sa coach na nagwagi sa gabing ito. 85-82 ang ating final count. So, Shell takes a one to nothing lead in this best of seven. Butch Maniego, take it away with somebody who's getting to be a familiar fixture in being interviewed after a game. Maraming salamat, Chef. Kasama natin dito si Chito Narvasa, head coach in Shell. Chito, you were down 14 points in the third quarter. Your team was doing absolutely nothing up to that point. Ano bang ginawa mo? You see, they were very tight. They were very nervous. I had to push them. And I told them they go back to the fundamentals, which was just play good defense. That was just what it is. And then we had to double down, close the lane, make them shoot from the outside. If ever we got beaten, we should have gotten beaten from the outside, not from the inside. At least everybody responded. Everybody. And all the Filipinos came in, not just, not just Kenny. And I think everybody, they deserve this win. What did you notice about uh, what Alaska was doing uh, right at uh, na kailangan yung uh, lutasin nung uh, third quarter? I think my problem was more on my, on my side. We knew that Alaska was going to play that way. They were going to be uh, really very aggressive. I just didn't think that we'd be so tight. So that was a problem we were able to overcome. Another thing, we weren't doing everything right. Our offense wasn't was sputtering. Our defense wasn't consistent. I just pointed everything out to them. If you want to win this game, you've got to be very aggressive. A lot of people were saying, uh, baka man happy na ang Shell, nakapasok lang kayo ng finals. But uh, this win, I think, in game one, tells uh, everybody na seryoso kayo. <laughs> we wouldn't be here if we weren't serious. I think uh, we want to go all the way. But game one is nothing. Tim knows that. We've got to clump down. They're coming harder, more aggressive. We've got just to do the same. We've got to equate our intensity with theirs, if not surpass them.